The wheels are going to come off the train. I want a comfy island vacation, dude. I want to just hang out and collect panties. But it can't be that way. So it's time to go ruin the vacation. Let's go. Yes. Look at these new rules. Rule 5. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Rule 6. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. I'm familiar with these rules already, brother. Rule 7. If the blackened is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. Rule 8. As a reward, the blackened will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. Rule 9. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Rule 10. Destroying any property on the island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes surveillance cameras and monitors. That one's new. I don't think they had that in the first game. Rule 11. You are free to investigate the island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Last rule. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. Oh, look how shitty the weather is. And the song is called Despair Syndrome 1. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. Wait, what were, were the first floor rules still there, or are they gone now? They're still here. But I don't think she's uh, going to be enforcing her rules anymore. <laughs> But I'm, I'm surprised he didn't just delete them out of the book. Even so, this was undoubtedly real. Flashback. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams... Job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. Man, Hajime is so much more poetic than uh, uh, Makoto ever was. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I had grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually... Everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on to the first night. A night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Chapter 1 Destination Despair daily life Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. I like his cocktail, dude. It looks delightful. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. There's no rule about going to bed at nighttime, though. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before...
before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye. Damn, that's ominous. A cottage, huh? Oh, you turn faster with the mouse. Maybe I shouldn't use the controller for this one. Because look how slow this is. It's abysmal. With the mouse, you can actually look around. Time to do combo mouse and keyboard controls. All right, which cottage is mine? Looks like it's the one right here. Right? Hajime's Cottage. Oh, look how comfy, dude. This is way comfier than the dorm rooms at Hope's Peak. Damn it. As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. No pillows, though. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, I don't even believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realized that there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. A scream erupted from my mouth. Stop screaming, dude. I don't want to read it. It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. I don't want to scream. I live in an apartment, goddammit. Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? Uh, I began to lose my voice and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring. Oh, shit. 10 viewer host. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it very much. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears, this is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. You better not scream again, dude. Why am I here? What am I doing here? Yo, spam the Namazu love. I love it. I forced my eyes shut. Wow, Livy. Thanks. Just remind me that I'm not an affiliate, why don't you? I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. Monk S. And if by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Oh, yay, we get Monokuma Theater again. I missed it. Ahem. Wait, you can't just voice half the line. To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much. Yo, that's me. To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend, you always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Now then, it's been a ma it's been a while since the main story started. So I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. Only true gamers can enjoy this one. So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-throbbing action to your heart's content. Now then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest. It will, even though you're, it's going to kill everybody interesting. Dude, it's the first thing in the morning and he has a fresh cocktail. What a legend. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, 
Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Sounds good, dude. Let's go. Ellipses. So it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now I should go outside. No, no, no. You're not allowed to go out. But Monokuma, why are you here? No way. Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons? Hey, um... I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got ahead of myself and made too many. But I thought it'd be a waste just to throw them away, so I've hidden them all over the island. Plushy hunt. They're scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Because I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you out until you find it. Well... Good luck. Damn it, that selfish stuffed animal. Alright, where are we looking? Look at all the things. Oh, I see it hidden up there. Wherever I go, there's surveillance cameras all over the place. Blah, blah, blah. They need more lines for looking at the TVs and the cameras. They're always the same thing. I see you. Level up. Hidden Monokuma. Yo, look at that lewd outfit. <laughs> Good job. I've also left you some mono coins. I'm so generous. These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the rocket punch market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too, so do your best and look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise. Bliss, is your brain okay? <laughs> what? Never mind, I should just go. Oh look, I get a little rack. This is where the Monokuma plushies are placed. Putting stuff like this here without my permission? Is this the door out? No, shower room. Ooh, look how cushy that is. There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and looks easy to use, but I've never really felt comfortable showering. You stink, Hajime. Well, it's this kind of situation after all. Hajime Stinky Boy confirmed? This room has a lot of windows. They probably wanted it to feel tropical and open. Well, this isn't really the time to be grateful for that. All the better to get peeped on with. This bed is pretty comfortable. Alright, let's go outside. Wee. Oh, thank you. He voiced the screaming, so I didn't have to do it. Thank you, Kazuichi. Whoa! Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I could say the same for you. Hey. But by the way, did you see them? Damn oh, it. man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh. The bridge, you know. Remember that bridge at the Central Island? Did something happen to it? Uh. No shit. Why the hell else would I be here? Those bad. monsters are in front of the bridges. They're, they're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters. They're mono beasts. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, it's here! So the mono cool. beasts are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. <laughs> Thank you. How very meta. If those monsters are his gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it. Oh, so annoying. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Aww, man. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We're going to get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey, hey what's with all the noise? Ah. <laughs> Another m m m monster! And I came all the way here to get you both, but if you're going to call me a monster... Huh? You're here to get us? Well, obviously. I was told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant? Damn it. Uh, whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here! 
Hey, where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. He's out of here, dude. Yeah, let's see if there's any Monokumas down at the end. Because I don't think I can go in anyone's cottages, though. Here, I need to use the mouse for turning. It's so unbearably slow. Much better. Hotel lobby. Any Monokumas around? No? Just Chiaki? Huh? I thought everyone was waiting at the restaurant. Yep. I thought I'd get some gaming in until everyone else arrived. But mm -hmm. I guess I should get going too. Playing video games all morning, huh? She truly is the ultimate gamer. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> she can't be the ultimate gamer, though, because I'm here. Hmm. You're late, Hajime. And where's Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... Running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run anyway. What a weirdo. However, After what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? Eh? What do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening, and even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Understand. Yep, yep. Not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. So, why have you gathered us here? Not yet. Not until Kazuichi arrives. Uh, wait a sec. That means the reason you told us to come here is... Pointing. We! Apparently, Monsieur Byakuya has something to tell us! Really? What? I'm gonna do it. O obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible. There's no way we can fight that thing. I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit! Anything is possible with a fighting spirit! Let me tell you this. A bold boast. However, let me give you some advice. The truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, let's start talking already! <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Ah, oh, jeez. Fine. I'll just bring Kazuichi myself, then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Mahiru. Maybe I should run away, too. Uh, just kidding. Disgusting, moron. Now, then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Hell yeah, brother. Let's eat. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. <laughs> ah, they even have crab and shrimp. Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly, stuttering face. <laughs> My ugly, stuttering face? Whoa. That's it. That's the face right there. Why, Why are you being so mean? You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? You should stop now. Oh. I got it. Teru Teru prepared this food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. Oh. This is... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's me, dude. <laughs> this is bad. Tastes yummy to me. Just yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense. In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food? How rude! Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What, what does that mean? 
Well, done. well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. No In fact, your panties would drop too, like the black thong Miss Pekka was wearing, for example. You, you creep, how do you know about that? Oh my god, she walked right into it. He guessed correctly? However, However, if Teru Teru did not prepare this food, then the one who did is... Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? That's why I'm tasting it for poison, to make sure it's safe for consumption. <laughs> sure, buddy. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You hey, boy, straighten up right? a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh, Stop. Don't pull. You're going to rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Are you going to be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I just want to go home already. Clonk. What the? <laughs> oh my, how lewd. How, how did that even happen? Hello, Mikan? What the fuck are you doing with your life? I don't believe you. <laughs> you. You cannot end up like that when you tripped. One of her socks came off. Can you even call that tripping? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Please help me. Aww. She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we, we should help her up. Should we? Are you okay? Mikan, are you okay? <laughs> My head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um. Anyway, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I am not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. Alright, what you got for us, Byakuya? Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously. Right? No, No, you've forgotten about shitting. <laughs> Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be a bond? Bond? This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Gross. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> Just as I figured, that was kind of lame, huh? However. However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemy as individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. <laughs> However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciplined leadership provided by an unmistakable leader. Even sports teams need captains, after all. Rejoice. I shall accept the position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey. Wait just a second. What? What is it? Jeez. What did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it, you're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own, and why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. 
What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you, that attitude of yours is too forceful. Mahiru, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But... That may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No. No, perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. It's all clear. And I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> so reliable. It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand for real this time. I have something to show you all. Something to show us. Follow me. It's at Jabberwock Park at the Central Island. Come, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. Jeez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Except for not all of them, you liar! You don't have to pay attention to me. Just go. I'll catch up with you soon. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I can't help it. When I get hungry, I lose most of my energy. So... After she said that, Akane ate the entire pile of food on her plate in one gulp. Snarf, snarf. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Man, that was good. You ate so fast, I doubt you even tasted it. Ugh. What happened? Are you choking? Damn it. Crap. Now that I've eaten a little, I'm even hungrier. So Jeez, Bianca, you better finish this talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. I guess I should go for now. Look, she's like tan, athletic, big boobs, and she likes food. She's pretty much Hina, dude. Let's go, Jumpy. My Magazine, Sandy, Champy. Hell yeah. Those are his hamster names, I imagine. My four dark devas of destruction, let us venture to the ends of the earth. Jabberwock Park. There's no need to shout, just hurry up and go already. Alright. <laughs> see, see you down there, Gundam. Hopefully. I'm sure his hamsters would keep him safe if anything were, bad were to happen. Hey. What happened? Byaki is going to be mad if you don't hurry over to the park. I could say the same thing to you. What are you doing here anyway? Got it. I just need to talk to Sonya about something. Gosh, boys should just mind their own business. Okay, jeez. She's a bit of a misandress, isn't she? Huh? She doesn't like dudes. Do not tell me. You too? Huh? Me too. What are you talking about? Um, oh, Miss Mahiru has asked me to take a leadership position. Geez. Well, Byakuya is being too forceful about leading us. Does that Doesn't that raise a red flag? Your hair is a red flag. Got him. Please, Sonya, think about it again. Don't you think you should be the leader instead? Um, I am certain that I'm ill-suited to be one. I... Furthermore, though Byakuya may be forceful, I believe he has the qualities to be an effective leader. Huh? Huh? Really? Please listen. Do you not remember what he said about being destined to stand above all others? He is truly attempting to fulfill that destiny by strength of his own will. His impressive stature and physique is a testament to his desire to be the ultimate affluent progeny, no? Um, that is truly grand. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Hmm. When you put it like that, Sonya, it does sound convincing. Hey, hey. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry for being so pushy, Sonya. No. no, it is simply a matter of regal discretion. discretion. I don't even know what that means, but okay. Wait, there is more options than just where would you like to leave? 